the one doing all the work. I'm just now hanging out. Hey everyone, I'm Shazad. I'm a physical therapist here at ReadyCare. This is Melanie. She is one of our techs. She's been with us for what, just about a year now? Closing in. She used to be a Division One athlete, if I'm not mistaken. When she was in college, she was a champion sprinter, so go Mel. <laughs> we actually have these very interesting looking uh, device on her feet. Under her feet, actually. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Uh, this is called a step right stability trainer. So this is basically going to be used for people with uh, foot and ankle injuries. And if you're looking to go back to active sports, to leading a more active life, our, uh, we were actually just using this uh, before we started filming the video and we actually had a walk and run with this. And she said it actually forces you to walk and run in the correct manner and can be quite, uh, quite challenging, a little more challenging than just walking on a normal, uh, on a normal fo uh, uh, floor. Excuse me. So uh, we're going to actually have a walk, run, and then we'll just do some more uh, fun stuff with Mel while she does it. We're going to be recording and then we'll see how she feels with this on and then we get the, uh, the champ to actually talk to us about how she feels with it. So, walk there and run back. Run. Talk about the walk and then we'll talk about the run. How did you feel when you were walking there? I felt like I was like walking on heels. It's very challenging, but it forces me to strengthen my ankles. But um, it feels good. So you're focusing on each step as you take it. Yes. Okay. And how about running? Um, running was a little bit more challenging, mm -hmm. but um, it just focused me to stay on the ball with my heels. Okay. Which is, I'm assuming, as a sprinter, that's what you want to do. Yes. Okay. Good. I'm, I am not a runner, so I have no clue. You don't want to stay on your heels. Okay. Yeah, you don't want to. <laughs> take, it, take it from the expert. I have no clue. Yes. Okay. Let's just do uh, a squat and a jump squat. Let's see how you do that. That was pretty good. Okay. Just a regular squat. Okay. How do those feel? That's pretty easy. <laughs> for her, for her, being the rider here, because yeah. obviously you know she's in better shape than ninety percent of the people around him. So. But it was it was challenging. It As was compared challenging. to a normal jump squat or a normal squat, a little more challenging. Yeah, it forces you to a focus lot more. more. Challenging. Okay, so when we when we're dealing with foot and ankle injuries, it's just not the walking. There's a lot of a uh, lot of push effect it has because if you're injuring this part, it's affecting your knees, your hips, your back, etc., etc. As well, so it basically throws the whole of the kinetic chain off. And uh, having something like this under your feet as you, as you train to go back to your normal routine can actually help accelerate the process because it forces you to focus on every single step that you take. If you, you stop thinking, you're actually going to tumble off. So it's, it's going to ensure that you actually make, uh, make every step count, as we like to say. So uh, if this uh, looks like something you think uh, would be helpful for you in your recovery from foot and ankle injuries. You can give us a call at 516-829-0030 or come see us at 475 Northern Boulevard. Take care.